वेलकम टू आई टी एस पी टेक्नोलॉजी माई नेम इज विवेक कुमार सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ लास्ट सेशन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सीन गिट हाफ सेशन वट इज द सोर्स कोड डिपोजिटरी एंड विच टूल वी यूज टू इंटरेक्ट विद द गिट हाफ लाइक वी इंस्टॉल गिट वैश ऑल्सो एंड वी वी क्रिएटेड बन रिपो एंड सेट द global username and pass your username and your email id and in this like that only one thing is remaining what is that pushing the code inside the github so we is stuck in somewhere okay i uh, solved that issue where is the issue we are getting i'm just showing to you in the control panel okay open a control panel because i am using some other repositories so that repository is a, a by default uh, taking as the place so that's why it's not initializing for that repository it's the conflict will uh, rising so go inside the credential in the window credential here you can see the github register this ITSP technology password and all this thing it will registered. Uh, previously that uh, I I T code is registered yet. I have removed that. I had to move that and add this one. Okay, so this is issue we are facing now. We not facing that issue again. So now, so up to this, it's uh, I think it's clear. Last video, if you not watched, you can go and watch in that uh, in this channel. the last video if you watching this video search itsp and get up repository to get up uh, playlist is there you can watch it there so now let's go with our today session so today we will uh, commit one code inside the repository first we will create the repository and account i think those people are watching this video they will create a github account okay so now the, on this video i will show the total practicals So let's go with that. Open this. Open GitHub. GitHub dot com here. No repository is there. This is my username, right? ITSP. Yesterday, like last session, we cre created this one. So now just create on repository. You can click on this button also. Okay. You can click on this button. Create repository. Or here also you can create to create on this button, create new repository or import. Just click on this for the GitHub session repo. You can take this, or you can take as a public. So it means public. Anyone can access. Okay, but that cannot modify that repository. The people cannot modify that repository. You can see my repository. You cannot modify that repository. As a private. private private you cannot see also i cannot modify also right but i want to as public so public i don't want to add readme file just all these steps i will show you how to create the repository they will give a command copy these commands and put it inside your uh, folder where you want to add this and execute this. so just go inside the window e And D drive inside the D drive public session GitHub uh, session is there inside the repo here one for I have just practicing this so delete this one not to go it okay. right now no folder is there okay, so just click on Git bash and here one command is there what is that command you can see Just increasing the size options and uh, font. Uh, is there background color is this? Or sir, it is the font text. Text is there. Select the loading font. Like this font is twelve uh, is good. Let's see. Put in apply. Okay, perfect. So now apply and save it. Now here get. Add git initialize a git init. When you hit this command, one folder will come inside your current directory. Right now we are in the git 
sessions slash get repo. So hit enter now. Here you can see one folder will come. In this folder, you will get configuration, all these things. Here you can see the configuration files files also it for your repository related your repository like configurations. Now here just and take this get in it is done. This is the echo means create the readme file. But I don't want to create this readme file. Just if you want then create. Otherwise I want to create one manually. Just show here just for the showing purpose. Any project you can commit. Okay. There are here I am not teaching like committing the project. Just I am at the last session. I will show you the <clears throat> uh, post your uh, like push your uh, Python project also, Git uh, Java project also, and CSS, HTML, all this project I will show you in the last session, like third session I'm planning for that. So up to that, you can practice these things. Okay. So now <clears throat> open new and uh, text file, select test. Okay. If you... <clears throat> In this file, if content is not there, just add some content here. This is my new comment. Okay, just you can save and close this one. Not required. Just come here. And I have told you the study, uh, like last session, not yesterday. Okay, last sessions, kit add. If you perform any changes on your file, and you want to add like a staging area, then use one command called git add, git add, git add. If you want to add one specific file, then use test dot like that, text txt and whatever its file is there, you can add it. But if you want all the content which is available in the current modification, if you want to add just dot you can add, otherwise hyphen, a also you can use so i am using hyphen a not hyphen a hyphen a i think so right perfect now git status it will show you the tracking git status right here you can see change to be committed new file this is the new file i have added if you modify that file then it will show modified file okay so now git add then git commit git what is that meaning git add when you perform git add this is that git add suppose in this we have one uh, like git add inside the staging area this is the staging area when you perform git add git add command the file will come into staging area right now right now this file is where in the staging area right and it's showing that unstaged if you want to track then perform git commit when you use git commit then it will come into the your local local machine if you perform the git push then it will into the your central repository central right so this is process So let's see, git add, git add done, git commit and hyphen em initial, initial commit, just em4 hyphen em4 message, just click. Then git status, now you can see. Is there any changes? Is there any changes? No. It will into your local. You can see git commit inserted. Created mode. One file changed, one insertion. Now you can first time if you uh, inserting anything in your repository first time, then you should perform this git remote add origin like perform this command to tells the github 
okay about that if you want to perform this then you can change the branch name but i don't want to change the branch name just copy this and shift insert that's it hit enter now it perfectly work git remote hyphen v let's see now here you can see we have fetch we have pushed okay github technology is like that now now we are able to push it copy this control c shift insert shift insert what is not a main branch we have in master master don't confuse by because we are not performing this git dot be not performed git dot branch git branch hyphen m main if you change this master to main then you can pass origin as a main but i don't want to just just enter a git push let's see if it is pushing also yes new branch master to master then origin now perfectly you pushed your code just refresh it now here you can see text is there click on this file this is my new comment is there right so now i think this is completed i think so i think you got the clarity about this git push up to this we completed right so now today's agenda is just open second this is the theory and okay perfect Get mm -hmm. some more. Okay, so now create and public repository in GitHub. Right, we have done this. Create one public repository. We create a public repository in GitHub. Done this steps and clone a GitHub repository using git clone command. Like that. What is that meaning of clone? If you want to copy of any repository on your local system, then perform a git clone. Suppose this is the repository we have. You want one copy, one copy of this repository. Suppose one copy, this is your system, right? Then you want this copy on your system. Then perform git clone, clone and the URL of that repository, URL of the repository. So in our case, what is the URL of our repository? Just click on git. Just click on git here. Just click on git. Okay. And hit. Click on code. Then here you can copy this URL and take that clone of this repository this is the ssh and this is the github cli these three things we can get the repo right so right now we are using https to so copy this if you want the clone this repository on your local system using this but right now let's go navigate to repository folder okay so now here go copy this and uh, this is our folder now so just create one more folder uh, what is that folder name i should put it clone repo clone right inside the i want to clone that just open the git bash here git clone and shift insert right now here you can get now right now we are in the your uh, repository your project structure your rip clone 
but I want to move into that git repos directory folders. So we use one command called here. You can see use one navigate to repository folder. Right now we are in our local folder. Right. So here you can go cd. What is that our repository folder? Git. This one. CD dot dot I think so. CD dot dot slash. Just open one more time. Okay. Paste it. Just right click. Inside the repository, we get it. Back this. Right click. Okay. Okay. Right now, in this, we are in the our project folder. So I want to navigate into the repository folder. So CD git. We have git session. Just click on. Now here we can work, we can observe the difference. Now we are in the master branch. Previously we don't have any branch. So right now we are in that. So this is our all these things. So here you can see this file is come. New test is come. Right. You can take this command like that clone like that so now next is so if you want to create something uh, one file you can create by using touch command touch command means create one file with the java extensions okay java extension and check of the status file using git status command git status this will be untracked function untracked file it will show. let's see so just open git here. I want to touch touch test dot java. Now here you can see one file created on creating. It should be created. Not created. Let's see what happened. Touch spelling is correct. Cat also we can use touch. I think this should be worked. Touch touch Java test Java dot Java enter. Let's okay. Here you can get it. We have three files right now, but in the folder it's not showing. I don't know. It's not showing. Refresh this. It's creating. I don't know. Okay, it's okay. Here you can see the ls get repo. So now I want to just add this file into that. Check the status git. First check git status. Here you can see untracked, right? Test.java, test.java.java. Here you can see nothing added to commit. Okay, untracked. If you are uh, not added into the commit section, then it will show as the untracked file. It is not tracking these files. Okay, just you create this file. Just you if you perform any other operations, then let's see. Then perform add file to the staging area using git add command. What that command? Git add command. So now here git add space dots. Hit enter. Now check git status. Now we're in, in the Track unstaging like track new file new file. If you modify any files, then you will show the modify. Now next step is here. Commit file to get local repository. Here you can see commit the file into the local repository. Now commit this file. Git git commit. 
hyphen m for message add new file new files new files right hit enter now you can check two file created mode this mode this this one zero insertion zero deletion two file changed right so now next one is next steps is over next steps is over push that now we covered up to this this is three stages we have right here i can show you this is our three stages like and here we created one file new file right and perform git what that command when you create that file git add when you create file git add perform okay git add if you perform git add then it will come into which area untracked right now is untracked right now is in untracked area when you perform git add then it will come into what is that area unstaged area unstaged unstaged area right which command you perform git add if you want now this file come into this in this area when you perform in this area we perform git commit git commit when you perform git commit then that file come into your local local area area then it will show what it will show git add we added let's see live over here we added would commit that then check which state would be as well. git git status is there any status is showing your branch is ahead of origin master by one commit git push or publish your local commits perform git push and perform the local right so now nothing it's showing maybe interviewer ask what is unstaged area and untracked area you can simply say when we create a file then it will in untracked area when you create when you perform git dot add when you perform git dot add then it will come into the staged area right when you perform in the git dot git dot git commit then it will come into the local repository then now 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 last point is now your file into now your file in local area now here inside the local area you perform one command but that git push then this is our central like cloud is the central repository repo like github github this is our github then when perform git push then this file come into this area like new right so this is total flow okay just do the practical okay just git push if you using git push let's see it is pushing or not yeah it's post perfectly so now check git status nothing is same is clean the working tree is clean right now so you can go and check just refresh this one now here you can see text.java is there text.java is there
right and also you can check good session report when we take it and just perform one thing here we process something so open git pull take one git pull okay the data showing what this file are not showing here why not showing here i don't know just okay okay why because we are creating this file here not that perfectly not a big deal here you can see now you can just open any one file and like adding something okay like public class test public class test perfect now let's see what happen in run just open git bash Wait to then check git status here you can see first time is showing new file but right now we modify this file that's why it's showing modified and which area is right now it is which area untracked right repo add restore to discard the changes in the working update the file so now git add dot just check git status Unstressed will come okay then git push if you are uh, adding for first time it will your uh, ID, username and password you can give that username and password then you are everything is up to date git push everything is up to date now check here but we are not committing right we are trying to push that way it's showing first we need to commit this commit commit get commit hyphen m second commit message just put message in the double quote or single quotes one file is changed now let's see git status showing anything not so tree is clean so git push perfect now it's been pushing your code into repo check here refresh this one which file we checked this one no? so here you can take one method is one class is coming now perfectly it's working i think you got a clarity about this topic so create the repository we completed First, we completed a uh, repository creation and pushing the code on GitHub and how to change what is the tracked area, untracked area, okay, staged area, right? What is the track area, tracked file, tracked file, tracked, not a track, staged, unstaged, unstaged file is there, okay, unstaged. So note point I have written here. If you are pass, if you are doing git push for first time, then it will ask to enter your GitHub account passwords. First time it will ask. Second time it won't ask. Now here, here again the real time use case we have one real time use case. Then what do it for that? Suppose we have one team leader. That team leader distributed the work. Okay. Team leader assigned the task. Task ID is this. Five time one. I am working on that task in the middle of the task. Suppose you are working this task and you are in the middle of this task. So then team leader told to you to stop the work for one, 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 triple one, not a triple one, five time one, and complete that. Five times two tasks, two to two, two, two tasks. You can complete this 
first priority task right then what should you do this is your suppose you are uh, what is that meaning they assign one task to you and you are in the mid of the task and the that person said to you stop working on this task and work on uh, complete this task because this task is high priority task high priority task so you cannot so you cannot when the team leader asked me to start work task i have already done few changes partially completed you are completed na half task you cannot commit this code on side branch if you commit existing functionality will affect it right my break right here you can see partially changes existing functionality may break means some functionality will disturb we cannot delete our changes because we spend too much time we have spent few hours of the time to implement those changes so in this case we will go for git stays command what is that git stays command git stays just perform this option on your git then it will come into your current and save that uh, your changes in somewhere else right so git stays is used to save working tree changes to temporary location somewhere else means temporary location and make a working tree clean like okay after priority work completed we can get the state changes by, by using git stays git stays apply right so let's see do this practicals this is the important okay now just here i am adding something public start public class test and close this class public static wide main string of System dot out dot printer. Also, I will show you with the Python only. Hello, main method. Hello, main method. Method, right? Now I have added this type. Now suddenly, team leader said to me, "You are working on this." Suddenly, team leader said to you don't work on this file work on this file like documentation right so what should you do now you can see just open git bash again close this one again you can open cheap that your changes will look at it or not git status right now here you can see modified is there no one file you modified if you commit this file in your github repository may be uh, some functionality will affect it right so better to affect that existing fun functionality or you are you removing your uh, functionality in your code right now suppose i can remove this file here right control x control s this is the simple thing now here you can check Git status. It is removed, so working tree will be clean. Let's see git status. Now here you can see working tree is clean, but in the real time you cannot do like that. Okay, that's why uh, GitHub people give a public class right test <laughs> control jet. Yes.
ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਟਰਸ ਵੀ ਸਿਲੈਕਟਡ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਕਲਾਸ ਟੈਸਟ ਮੇਨ ਡਿਕਲੇਅਰ ਵਨ ਕਲਾਸ ਡਿਕਲੇਅਰ ਵਨ ਮੇਨ ਮੈਥਡ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਸਟੈਟਿਕ ਵਾਈਡ ਮੇਨ ਸਟ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਡਾਟ 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 ਆਕਸ ਮੈਥਡ ਇਜ਼ देयर ਐਟ ਬੀ ਲੈ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਡਾਇਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਲ ਐਰੇ so now system dot out dot print ln here you can put it main hello main method hello main hello main okay just save and close this close this one also now we can check close this now we are in the same before then check git status right now it will showing what is what it will doing comment it working directory right modified is there now use this command which command we are going to use git stage git stage use this because team leader said to me work on some other task so i need a clean working directory that project okay so clean as the previous just a git provided that right so to okay okay so now do one thing come here git stage this is the okay now here saved working directory index start work in progress on master 05 second commit okay now this is that second commit we have we have second commit id is this you can check uh you can check that move into the second commit okay inside this you can see you the second commit we have the one id is generated it is the id yeah this one 4b60101060108 here you can see 6010a is there now what is that meaning they removed they come into this file like last commit it will come last commit right last push this is our last push second commit message is second commit so now just check git status here you can see any working tree is there just change some content here like this is the second task team leader said to me add main method here the public static static wide main the string arcs are parameter arc like that system dot out dot print dialog by team leader by team leader okay so now save this and let's see what working tree is saying now here ab kya karega abhi ye dikhayega hame ki करंट में चेंजेस क्या हुए हैं अपने रिपोजिटरी तो गिट स्टेटस ऐड करो नाउ कौन सी फाइल में चेंज करी है व्हिच फाइल वी हैव चेंज्ड टेस्ट जावा डॉट जा तो टेस्ट डॉट जावा डॉट ऐड करी है ये टीम लीडर ने काम बोला था तो दस बस अब क्या करना है इसको कमिट कर देना है गिट कमिट हाइफन यम प्रायोरिटी priority task right don't go with the mask is just come and now where it will come now here you can see git commit hyphen a on your branch your branch is up to date with the origin master changes not staged for the commit okay git add first we use git add so we didn't we didn't 
use this command na we use git add as say this clearly showing <clears throat> changes not staged we need to stage this changes so git add dot now here now the changes are staged git status you can check change the staged area so now git commit hyphen m uh, high task high task high task perfect enter now git status okay now your working tree is clean working tree is clean so now git push git push now git push right push in that code now git push it done git push check git status anything git pull up to date there right now here you can check this go back go back now check high task message is come method is come so now just do one thing now let's next 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 now abhi hame chahiye jo humne functionality develop kari thi jisme hum mid mein the so that functionality i want so we perform git stays apply git stays apply git stays apply git stays apply so open this git stays apply now you can see you can see changes are not staged modified test java is come java is come now here you can see here go inside this this file have changed okay test dot java we changed test dot java this one we file change this now the changes are coming or not you got my point changes are coming so this is perfectly so now do some work on this file also and uh, commit this file do some system just printing one line in out of print ln now we can commit save this and just check staged git git status now right now is this but not staged this method will remove when you perform git add git add slash sorry dot git status now in the staged area git push push that command now git pushed now we can already up to that git status which git add git commit <laughs> i am in the fast mode okay git commit message feature features right git push okay. it pushing on that branch you can go and check this check this out repositories in the features branches so this is use of working tree clean this is use of git staged command so this is the real time is very useful command in real time what is doing just it will when you perform git staged just adding one page what what git stage is doing git stage this is doing this is our working directory currently we are developing one feature suppose okay that feature we are in the mid of that feature development then one task is coming this is one task this is the important task developing feature 
teacher right and one task is come fix this issue issue will come in your repository then come into this perform git staged command then that your changes come into one temporal area maybe in temporal temporal area that come then it here it's showing last commit last commit if you perform git status last commit then add this fix this issue commit that then now i want this back uh, changes in my repository in my working folder to so just git stays apply perform apply right so now i hope today's session you got this clarity now in the next sessions in the next session we use maybe it will take long uh, we use uh, i will integrate with that uh, uh, eclipse eclipse i will show you how to commit with that eclipse okay and uh, gui i will show you how to commit using gui and some more commands are there all the and also python project java project ui project same process is there but i will also show you so thank you, thank you for watching. We will meet in the next session.